We've seen crowds at multiple airports across the tri-state, even in Milwaukee, too. We know all these Congress members are trying to get home this morning, so we know a lot of people have concerns when they're flying in the air now. That's right, and it goes beyond the airports. Let's bring in Lance Ulanov now. Lance is a tech expert, been on News 12 many times over the years to break down complex technical issues, and this is one of them. Lance, thank you for joining us. Um, I guess the, the lead question here is, how does a mistake and an update have such an impact all across the globe? Well, you know, technology is global, right? You know, even though this company is based, CrowdStrike is based in the U.S., it has clients all over the world. And of course, the it works with the most popular operating system in the world, which is still Windows. And it just seems to, you know, I have no idea what kind of update they did. Uh, but, you know, it, it's not the first time we've seen this. You know, we had, a, I think it was a recent AT&T outage where similarly was just a software update. And they're not doing what's called regression testing, which means that they're ensuring that at all levels, an update of any size will not bring down any part of the system. And that just seems to have not been done. And so it is, you know, it is still sort of ballooning. Uh, there's some reports that say that uh, the outages are plateauing, but because the systems are interconnected, it's still sort of expanding. Like uh, Amazon's web services are now showing some reports that they're struggling as well, because again, on the back end, some of their systems rely on Windows, rely on CrowdStrike. And by the way, CrowdStrike is a security software firm. You know, it's the it's supposed to be something that protects your systems. Now, this was not a hack, an attack anything like that, simply a software update, but they're just as vulnerable to that as anyone else. And Lance, I know a lot of people us in the newsroom at 3 a.m. with a panic of what's going on. Are you advising anything for people watching what they should do if they're affected? Yeah, patience, really. I mean, there's not much they can do. There is there is a complicated thing you can do with Windows to reboot it, but I would not recommend average people do this. IT administrators can go in and remove this little bit of information to reboot Windows, and I'm sure they're all doing that. But for everyone else, look, you know, the airports are telling you right now things are bad. So check, you know, most of us have airlines on our mobile website. You know, we have it on our apps. Th those will keep you updated. And if you see that it's still a mess, maybe you don't head to the airport where you're basically going to be trapped with a lot of people milling around doing nothing. And if systems aren't working for you today, other systems aren't working, be patient, they'll come back. One of the larger concerns here, though, is that I have heard about some 911 systems, like one in Alaska, being totally out because of this. And so that's going to be a bigger situation where people are going to figure out if they have an emergency, how to reach people. Well, the good news here, at least on Long Island, Lance, is that NASA and Suffolk Police have said that their 911 systems are unaffected, although they have had some computer issues. But I want to go back to CrowdStrike, Lance, because as you say, they are uh, in the business of cybersecurity. If they're having issues, are there potential vulnerabilities? We're talking about banks. We're talking about airports, tickets, personal information, potentially. Could there be an issue there? Well, we don't know. I mean, the thing is, we, you know, since I said everybody's using Windows, certainly it could be you're going to run into this in places. So if you run into a situation, for example, you can't get money out of your bank, you might have to assume it's connected to this. I think that the bigger issue here is that our infrastructure is built on systems like this. It connects to systems like this. And if they're not more careful, we could have an even bigger problem. I mean, this is connected to how we get electricity, how we get water, clean our water, all of those things. There are systems behind them that are often running on Windows platforms and usually have some sort of security software tied into them because that's necessary. And if somebody makes an update that's beyond your control, that could bring down a system. And Lance, we obviously don't have a timeline when we'll see some sort of normalcy come back, right? No, no. It's a CrowdStrike CEO says they're working on it, uh, you know, really hard. That was probably like an hour and a half ago. Uh, and even as it comes back, it'll come back slowly, not all is all at once. Partly because systems are rebooting, they're kind of reconfiguring themselves, they're kind of reconnecting to the rest of the network. So it's probably going to be a really rough morning if you don't have to go to the airport. I, I say avoid it um, and just, you know, we just have to wait it out. That is what the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey is advising as well. Stay away from the airport unless you know that your flight is going to leave today. And right now, that is not the case for many, many people. Lance, thank you so much. Uh, always a pleasure to have you on here. You are the expert on these things, and we appreciate it. My pleasure.